I think what the horse really likes is a rider that's entirely predictable. Right? And the fact that we can move from side to side, forward and back, we can do things that the horse does not expect, I think that makes the horse's job harder. And a really good rider is the one that just stays anchored in the saddle, doesn't move their center of pressure around a whole heck of a lot. Um, some riders are very asymmetrical. Sometimes you'll see a rider sitting way off to the side. You can't always assume that that's the rider's fault. Sometimes if the saddle is off to the side, then the rider just sits wherever the saddle is and it's not actually the rider's fault. In fact, there's been some recent research that's shown that the majority of times when the saddle is off to the side, it's actually because the horse has a hind leg lameness. So if the rider follows the saddle, then she sits off to the side too. Well, I think what the research is showing is that if the saddle habitually sh slips to the side, then maybe the first thing is to let the vet have a look and make sure the horse is not lame. And the studies that they did looking at the saddle slip showed that if the saddle slipped off to the side with more than one rider, then it was worth looking at whether the horse was lame. If the lameness was identified and then a nerve block or a joint block was used to take the lameness away, then the saddle would sit straight.